Paint Splattered Breakthrough, or The Magic of Theater, my Peace Corps story. So I'm integrating according to directions in my job, and it really was a job, in the mountain town of Khrushchevo in the Republic of Macedonia, the local economic development office. It was a new idea and a new office, and it was slow to catch on. Macedonians are profoundly welcoming and very suspicious. Dominated for centuries by others, there's a tendency to herd up for safety. Sticking your head above the crowd is not encouraged or cheered. The attitude towards volunteerism was decidedly negative, since there was a collective memory of a system of forced volunteerism. Among the information that was repeated again and again was don't expect to do anything for six months except build relationships. It's hard work to show up for eight hours and do nothing. I was basically a prop. Come see the American woman claiming to be a volunteer, who we know is really a spy. So while I'm building relationships, I decide to write a play. A bit of context. My town was a, ma uh, a mountainous town and the cradle of Macedonian independence, having held off the Ottoman Turks for 10 days in 1905. Cars were few, the streets were cobbled and very steep, beautiful. Walking was the common transport and form of entertainment. There was an ebb and flow to the evening stroll, who walked with whom. It was a tough town, time for the town. Its glorious past was visibly shabby and without the visitors who used to come there. Imagine, if you will, the National Mall with buildings covered with vines and shabby sheep and goats grazing on the lawn. A few tourists with maps in their hands, confused, and a few homemade shacks selling meaningless trinkets. It was sad, and the people were depressed. I was a kind of novelty at the time. My walk to work felt more like a parade. Greetings, invitations, waves from windows, chats over the laundry line. Every day the populace saw me suit up and head to City Hall. I didn't realize in those early days they really did think I was a spy. Why else would an American woman of a certain age be here in our town? Mm. Time passes and I'm becoming a fixture there, doing nothing much, learning the language, the spy typing furiously on her play and I start looking for something to do. I form a friendship with two high school Macedonian teachers and we start a drama club. Well, we choose a play, the kids are rehearsing, it's a Macedonian farce and it's time to paint the set. So I set, set off in my overalls carrying paint and brushes on my usual path down through the cobbled streets, except I have to stop at nearly every house because everyone wants to know what I'm doing. I try to explain and that's when things changed for me. When they realized I was doing something with their kids on my time that I didn't have to do, something with their teenagers, just because I wanted to, that's when, that was my point of entry. So one day I get a call from another, things are going by, we're having a good time making shows, and I get a call from a cultural minister in another city. He wants to do things that have English content. Well, I have a play right here for you. So I make a project of it, and um, we, the town itself was half Albanian, half Macedonian, and there were very few points of intersection between these, few to no points of intersection between the cultures. The culture minister of that town was willing to stick his head up and try a different idea. So there was a, there was a volunteer in that town. Donna was an older, stable, compassionate, beautiful woman who taught English to Macedonian women and Albanian women in different classes. I sent her the script and they practiced the lines for one scene that I had written in the play that called for 20 women sewing and ended with a sea shanty. I made a call and got, uh, there was a lot of improvising and making that performance to come together for a weekend in July. The play was terrible but the occasion was a great success. For the PC volunteers, it was a reminder of what we could do together. We, had, we made something happen, a beginning, a middle, and an end in two days. The power of just showing up. The night of the performance, the families of the women from the town showed up too. They showed up dressed with their kids, with their grandparents, and for one night it was a neutral zone in the House of Culture. 
The women spoke their lines one by one, one after another, and the scene ended with a song, not the sea ballad, but we wanted a song that we could teach them in one day. So they sang Seasons of Love from Rent. There was a reception afterwards with refreshments, and nothing was said about what had happened on the stage in those few moments with the Albanian women and the Macedonian women together on stage speaking English. It was too close, too fresh, too fragile, and mysterious. But the energy and mechanics of making an event, of setting something up, of creating something, created a space of suspension of normal life. It was a moment of theater, of art, and a point of connection in space where three cultures came together beyond culture.